Hello, Nini here. So you want to be an IRL streamer using Streamlabs? Well, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get it set up. The most common questions I get are how to do this. So here we go. I'm using an Android phone um, and you're going to have to use a browser such as Chrome. Boom. Open it up, streamlabs.com. What I'm not showing you is my login and here's where you'll have to log in with YouTube, give it every permission known to man. And then you will see the screen that you are looking at. And this is your dashboard. From here, we're going to go over to the left-hand side, select widgets, and click on alert box. We're going to scroll down and you'll see show media sharing settings. Open that. And check the enabled box. You'll also decide how much you want for a video or song to show up on your stream. And hit save. You're going to scroll down and select donations. And here's where we can set up our text to speech. So open up that box, check enabled, decide how much for the text to speech to read out loud on your stream. And then you'll scroll down and here's where you can do some customization. The default is the zombie. Mine you can see there is a custom animation and you can change the sound for the text to speech. This is all important because you don't want your viewers to feel scammed and be sending you money and it doesn't show up on your stream. We're going to hit save. Then we're going to go back up and select settings. Here's where you will link your PayPal and after a few streams, Streamlabs opens up the option to enable credit cards. So you'll have to come back and set that up once you're ready. At the top you'll see your URL. You'll have to copy that and paste it in your description box in your Creator Studio on YouTube. And that's where people can click the link to send the media and text-to-speech donations. From here, we're going to close this out and we're going to open up the actual Streamlabs app. And you'll see the three lines in the top right corner. We're going to select that, hit Editor, and this is where we can adjust our chat box and our alert box. So first you'll click on chat box, you'll see it kind of highlights and the three dots. You'll see the eye symbol with the line through it. It means that my chat will not show up on stream, but with the open eye, it's going to show up as a streamer. I'll be able to see the chat. Boom. Now I'm going to select the alert box one. And these are adjustable. You can move them around. I keep mine nice and big and in the center. So then when a TTS or media shows up, it's big and in the middle and I know it's happening. I hit the three dots and you'll see the two open eyes. So they do show up on stream and they do show up in preview. I'm going to select the check mark and it's ready to go. All you have to do is just hit that red live button and you're all set. Hope this tutorial helps. Uh, feel free if you have any more questions to submit them in the comment section and good luck with your streaming journey.